Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and I want to give you plain speak about the uh, PEX plumbing system, what I'm using on my bathroom renovation and what I've used for years when I do uh, renovation work and uh, remodeling. I'm not a plumber. I don't, uh, I don't play a plumber on TV and I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. But I'll tell you what, one thing I know is how to make very good connections. And one of the best systems that's now really taken the place of uh, copper in a lot of places due to the expense of copper is the PEX system that, uh, cr and crimping tool. What this uses is, is a system of crimp rings, fittings, and uh, plastic piping that uh, when used in combination allow you to uh, run water lines with confidence and under standard, uh, standard water system pressures without having to worry about leaking. The PEX system works and it's been approved by, building, uh, by the National Building Code and the Plumber's Code and local building codes. They don't approve stuff unless it's uh, very proven and PEX has been around for 20 years. But one of the problems you get when you go to look at uh, PEX videos and things it's a lot of plumbers talking about it, and it's a lot of plumbers speak. Okay, I'm a home remodeler, uh, do it yourself, and I have a hell of a lot of experience with stuff. So I'm going to uh, bring you down, we're going to bring the camera down here, and we're going to explain the PEC system and show you how it works. Simply put, close up and uh, simple speak, okay? So uh, hang in there, be right back. I'm going to change the camera, get down on floor level, and uh, show you what the PEC system is all about. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Well, we're going to show you a little close-up detail about the PEC system and uh, how you can make uh, great and simple connections using the uh, PEX crimping tool and the uh, PEX products, including tubing and the, uh, and the uh, crimp rings that you buy. Okay, one of the first things that a lot of people do, and uh, unfortunately years ago I sold my uh, PEX crimp tool set, but I was able to pick up one for a uh, song. And this is what you need to basically put uh, PEX tubing and make the connections for uh, all of your uh, elbow joints or uh, couplings, things like that. So the main star of the show is the uh, PEX crimp tool. And mine, uh, mine came in a really nice kit. And you'll see up here, when you close it, you see the jaws can open on it. And this thing can exert a lot of pressure and a lot of leverage when it's closed up. You'll see up here at the top, it has uh, some jaws that open. And when they're closed, I'll go ahead and close that. And cinch it down. And you can see it forms a uh, perfectly round circle. And you can see something else on here. It says PEX one half inch. Now what that does, because not everybody uses half inch uh, tubing like I do for my projects here, okay? Some people use, uh, some people use three eighths of an inch. Some people use three quarter inch. And some people use one inch. But this system is adapted. So all you have to do is with the uh, removal of a few few screws here and a lot of times they can be a uh, hand tighten or barely tighten here you can change out and put different size heads on there so easy to do that and it works so well okay so how does it work in in action the theory of it is is you take your piece of tubing like i have here you put one of the uh, crimp rings on it you can see i have a bag of them you slide that uh, crimp ring on and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your fitting and you're going to put it in there. And we'll use this one as an example. We're going to pop that in there and show you. I think actually I'll use the, I'll use the other one. So bear with me a minute while I change up the uh, camera. Okay, what I did have now is I have the crimp ring that I've put on there. And you can see that pretty well. And thank you, Jennifer, my partner, for assisting with the uh, camera there. And I'm, what I would do now is slide the elbow on there and make sure whenever you cut PEX tubing that you get a real clean 90 degree cut, okay? And you want to slide that fitting up on there in all the way. You want to put the fitting in all the way there and you want to move your ring up so that uh, not all the way to the fitting, but you want a little bit of white showing there. And I don't know how well that shows up on 
camera, you can well, see there's still see a little it. bit of white there. Yeah. And that one I want to do, I already have this uh, set for the uh, half inch. You can see the uh, what I call the jaws of joy here for the uh, PEC system. And what I'm going to do is just uh, stick that on there. Open that up real wide. I hope you can see that pretty good. I'm going to set those uh, jaws down on top of there. Get that, uh, get that set real good on there. You almost need three hands sometimes. So, yeah, you can see I've got that in position now. And I want to make sure that's square on it. Okay, you don't want it on an angle. And then I'm going to compress that fitting. Boom. Just like that. And you know what? That copper crimp ring, because it's a perfect circle around it with the uh, crimp tool, it actually closed that crimp ring in. And the beauty of that is, you can see that the uh, elbow has little ridges on it. And once that crimp ring is set down, there's no way that's going to pull off of those ridges again. And it makes an outstanding connection. Now, how do you know you've made a good connection with the uh, PEC system? They have a uh, go and a no-go gauge is included with the kit. All you do is slip this over top of the uh, fitting. In our case, we're using half inch here. It has three eighths, half, three quarter, one. We just slide it on there. Okay, and if you can see a little bit of light in there, and you can see right between there, there's a little bit of uh, light as I put the gauge on. That's a go. Now if it had gone all the way up to the top and you wouldn't be able to see light, it would be a no-go. If you uh, couldn't get it to fit in there, it would also be a uh, no-go. So this is a perfect, this was a uh, perfect connection because it does allow for a little bit of light to show through there. So that's a go. So simple, yeah you bet, and a really, really uh, strong connection too. You know, it's so strong, you really can't even, you can hardly even twist that fitting, and there's no way that that's going to come off. So, like I said, with the PEX kit, you get the uh, tool, and a couple of different manufacturers make this, and they have a nice kit, so you can keep all the parts, uh, pick, keep all the different ring sizes together. And the nice thing, the PEX elbows, connectors, threaded, uh, threaded connectors and things, they're not real expensive, two, three dollars a pop. And a box of the uh, bag of the crimp rings, 50, you can get them for like uh, $10. So it's a great deal. It's a good system and it saves a lot of money and it works and it's great. Okay? And you want to show the people the box? Well, I've already showed them the box at the beginning oh, okay. out there. So we're all set. So, All right, Jennifer, thanks once again for uh, taking time to come in and help me and run the camera. And I hope you enjoyed this simple speak PEX overview of how the system works. And uh, for my money, it's, it's really outstanding and it saves a uh, ton of money. Comments are always welcome. So I appreciate always hearing from you guys. So thanks so much for watching.